Are you ready for this orphaned baby zebra's unusual friendship to pull on your heartstrings? Care for Wild is the largest orphan rhino sanctuary in the world, and it spans 69,000 acres, 28,000 hectares, in the Greater Barberton Nature Reserve in Mpumalanga, South Africa. The exact location of the sanctuary is not disclosed so that poachers can't find and hurt the animals. The sanctuary was opened in 2001 by its founder, Petronel Nivote, who aimed to provide care and rehabilitation to a wide range of animals who found themselves in need of help, in particular the critically endangered black rhinos and white rhinos. Unfortunately, their numbers continue to decline due to poaching for their horns. The sanctuary rescues orphaned rhinos mainly from the Kruger National Park, which is still largely affected by poaching. They also rescue orphan rhinos from the neighboring game reserves in the Mpumalanga and Limpopo regions. It was in the Kruger National Park that staff came across an animal who was in quite a bit of trouble. They were doing a routine check around the area to see if they could find any rhinos who needed help when they found a baby zebra. The animal, who the staff later named Mojaji, which means rain queen, had been separated from its mother by storms and heavy rains. They found the young animal lying in the wet grass. It was estimated that it was only a few days old and so it was incredibly weak and could barely stand up. Not wanting to take the animal if its mother was nearby, one staff member kept an eye on the young animal, whilst another began to scout the area a little bit. Unfortunately, the mama zebra was nowhere to be found. The workers knew that they couldn't leave the helpless and defenseless baby to look after itself, so despite specializing in rhino care, they decided to take the animal back to the sanctuary with them. Once back at the sanctuary, a member of staff posted a picture of the zebra on Instagram with the caption that they'd found a new baby, but a little smaller and stripier than our animal patients. Because of how young Mojaji was, she was immediately admitted into the intensive care unit, ICU, of the sanctuary as she needed extensive care if she was going to survive. Whilst in the ICU, the baby zebra quickly made friends with another patient, a young rhino called Akuwazi. The two would often spend time comforting each other whenever they could. Unfortunately, due to the amount of ailments that Mojaji was suffering from, she was often kept separate from the other animals so the staff could keep a closer eye on her and help her should she need it. As the days passed, the young zebra's health began to recover and the staff became less worried about whether she would live and more focused on helping her grow into a beautiful adult zebra. Less than a month after finding the baby zebra, the staff were out on another patrol when they came across a baby rhino fighting for its life all by itself. The animal was so young that it still had its umbilical cord attached, meaning that it must have been less than a day old. The workers wasted no time in saving the baby animal, who surely would have died without their intervention, and rushed it to the ICU of the sanctuary. The rhino, a female, was incredibly weak to begin with and needed a care worker with her at all times to monitor her health, maintain her temperature, and feed her at the proper times. Whilst it isn't clear why the baby was abandoned, it may not be a coincidence that she was discovered during a horrid week where dozens of rhinos were murdered by poachers in just a few days. Unfortunately, this could have included the young animal's mother, whilst she was left to fend for herself as her horns hadn't grown yet. Staff named the rhino Daisy and constantly posted pictures of her on their Instagram to keep people updated with her progress as she healed. One picture was captioned saying, this tiny miniature rhino instantly climbed into our hearts. With her oversized feet, droopy lips and hairy ears, she looked prehistoric and yet she was so unbelievably vulnerable. For the first few weeks, it was touch and go, but as time went on, she steadily began to grow, reassuring the sanctuary workers that she was going to be okay. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the ICU, Akawazi the rhino had been deemed healthy enough to be released into the regular section of the sanctuary. With the young rhino gone, Mojaji was quick to befriend the newcomer, Daisy. The two baby animals quickly became inseparable, with the zebra offering the rhino as much comfort as she possibly could. The sanctuary workers noticed the unusual bond and said in an interview, Mojaji is amazing company for Daisy and very affectionate towards her. She is a friend that can be with her 24-7 and this in turn helps to prevent too much human contact with Daisy. 
Even though the young rhino was being cared for 24-7, there were still a few times where the staff got quite worried about the animal's health. Despite all of the dips in her health though, Daisy managed to pull through and beat any and all odds that were stacked against her. Since the moment that Mojaji first met Daisy, she has been nothing but caring and loving with the baby rhino. The two animals found a much-needed friend in each other after all they have been through in their young lives. The older they got, the more their personalities began to shine through. The pair became quite playful and mischievous. Mojaji was often found trying to teach Daisy how to graze, although the young rhino still had a long way to go before she was able to graze successfully on her own. Another activity that the little zebra liked to do was to show Daisy where the milk was prepared. The two cheeky young animals happily pestered the workers for their milk and would stand around and watch as it was made to make sure that they were going to get some. Regardless of their little shenanigans, their caregivers rejoiced in their friendship, saying that it's hard to believe how hard we fought for their lives, when now you see them strong, cheeky, and up to all kinds of mischief. Due to her size and how young she was when she was first brought in, Daisy was kept away from the other rhinos at the sanctuary, as she was simply too small and weak to be able to play with them and keep up with their rough behavior. But as she continues to grow, the staff are certain that she will eventually be able to join the other orphaned rhinos in the main sanctuary. Meanwhile, Mojaji will also be released to live in a herd of other zebras that the sanctuary cares for, before hopefully being released back into the wild. Although this is a great thing for both the rhino and the zebra, it means that they will eventually have to be separated from each other, which will likely lead to a few tears from the staff members who have watched these two adorable animals form a strong and special bond. Regardless of their potential separation in the future though, their unique friendship will always be a vital part of their rehabilitation journey. It is very likely a key reason why these two baby animals pulled through all the hardships of their early lives. Thankfully, the future is a long way away, as baby rhinos drink milk until they're around 17 months old, and Daisy won't enter the rewilding program until she's at least three years old, so we'll have a lot of beautiful moments of their friendship to enjoy as the sanctuary keeps everyone updated with their progress via their Instagram account. Unfortunately, rhinos are one of the most vulnerable animals in the world as poachers illegally hunt them for their horns. To help these amazing creatures, you can always donate to charities such as the WWF or the Care for Wild Sanctuary. What an adorable story! What other adorable stories about unusual friendship between different species can you share with me? Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.